What do you think about uh, Dojo with Tesla and their foray into what appears to be specialized hardware for uh, training neural nets? Um, I, the, I guess it's something, maybe you can correct me. For my shallow looking at it, it seems like something that like Google did with TPUs, but specialized for uh, driving data. I don't think it's specialized for driving data. It's just legit, just TPU. Yeah. They want to go the Apple way. Basically, everything required in the chain is done in-house. Well, so you have a problem right now. And this is one of my one of my concerns. I really would like to see somebody deal with this. If anyone out there is doing it, I'd like to help them if I can. Um, you basically have two options right now to train. Uh, your options are NVIDIA or Google. Um, so Google is not even an option. Uh, their TPUs are only available in Google Cloud. Uh, Google has absolutely onerous terms of service restrictions. Uh, they may have changed it, but back in Google's terms of service, it said explicitly you are not allowed to use Google Cloud ML for training autonomous vehicles or for doing anything that competes with Google without Google's prior written permission. Well, wow. okay. I mean, Google is not a platform company. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't touch TPUs with a 10 foot pole. So that leaves you with the monopoly. Uh, NVIDIA? NVIDIA. Uh, so, I mean- <laughs> That you're not a fan of. Well, look, I was a huge fan of in 2016 NVIDIA. Jensen came sat in the car. Um, cool guy. When the stock was $30 a share. Uh, NVIDIA's stock has skyrocketed. Um, I witnessed a real change in who was in management over there in like 2018. And now they are, let's exploit. Let's take every dollar we possibly can out of this ecosystem. Let's charge $10,000 for A100s because we know we got the best shit in the game. And let's charge $10,000 for an A100 when it's really not that different from a 3080, which is $699. Um, the margins that they are making off of those high-end chips are so high that, I mean, I think they're shooting themselves in the foot just from a business perspective because there's a lot of people talking like me now who are like, somebody's got to take NVIDIA down. Yeah. Where, where they could dominate it. NVIDIA could be the new Intel. Yeah, to be in, inside everything, essentially. And 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 yet the winners in, in certain spaces, like in autonomous driving, the winners, only the people who are like desperately falling back and trying to catch up and have a ton of money, like the big automakers, are the ones interested in partnering with NVIDIA. Oh, and, and I think a lot of those things are going to fall through. If I were NVIDIA, sell chips. Sell chips at a reasonable markup. To everybody. To everybody. Without any restrictions. Without any restrictions. Intel did this. Look at Intel. They had a great long run. NVIDIA is trying to turn their, they're like trying to productize their chips way too much. They're trying to extract way more value than they can sustainably. Sure, you can do it tomorrow. Is it going to up your share price? Sure. If you're one of those CEOs who's like, how much can I strip mine this company? And, you know, and that's what's weird about it too. Like the CEO is the founder. It's the same guy. Yeah. I mean, I still think Jensen's a great guy. Yeah, he's great. Why do this? You have a choice. You have a choice right now. Are you trying to cash out? Are you trying to buy a yacht? If you are, fine. But if you're trying to be the next huge semiconductor company, sell chips. Well, the the interesting thing about Jensen is he is a big vision guy. So he has a plan like for 50 years down the road. So it makes me wonder like- How does price gouging fit into it? Yeah, how does that, fit? like it's, it doesn't seem to make sense as a plan. I worry that he's listening to the wrong people. Yeah, that that's yeah. the sense I have too sometimes. Cause I, despite everything, I think NVIDIA, is an incredible company. Well, one, sort of, I'm deeply grateful to NVIDIA for the products they've created. Me too. In the past, right? And so- The 1080 Ti was a great GPU. Still have a lot of them. Still is, yeah. But at the same time, it just feels like, feels like you don't want to put all your stock in NVIDIA. And so like Elon is doing, um, what Tesla is doing with Autopilot and Dojo is the Apple way is, because they're not going to share Dojo with uh, George Hotz. I, I, I know they should sell that chip. Oh, they should sell that. Even their their accelerator, the accelerator that's in all the cars, the thirty watt one. Sell it. Why not? 
So open it up. Like make, yeah. wh- why does Tesla have to be a car company? Well, if you sell the chip, here's what you get. Yeah. Make some money off the chips. It doesn't take away from your chip. You're going to make some money, free money. And also the world is going to build an ecosystem of tooling for you. Right. You're not going to have to fix the bug in your 10H layer. Someone else already did. Well, the question, that's an interesting question. I mean, that's the question Steve Jobs asked. That's the question Elon Musk is uh, perhaps asking is, uh, do you want Tesla stuff inside other vehicles? In, in Inside, potentially inside like uh, iRobot vacuum cleaner. Yeah. I think you should decide where your advantages are. Um, I'm not saying Tesla should start selling battery packs to, to automakers right. because battery packs to automakers, they are straight up in competition with you. If I were Tesla, I'd keep the battery technology totally yeah. as far as we make batteries. But the thing about the Tesla TPU um, is anybody can build that. It's just a question of, you know, are you willing to spend the, you know, the money? It could be a huge source of revenue, potentially. Are you willing to spend the $100 million? Right? Anyone can build it. Uh, and someone will. And a bunch of companies now are starting trying to build AI accelerators. Somebody's going to get the idea right. And yeah, hopefully they don't get greedy because they'll just lose to the next guy who finally, and then eventually the Chinese are going to make knockoff and video chips and that's. 